anybody who know, really know the game, it's, it's, it's uh, a tough task to stand in this game for eight, nine, ten years. So uh, he's still here. He never had a time shot. I'm happy for him that he's able to get his chance because he can really fight. Well, how's training camp been for you, and where are you mentally and physically with the fight about a week away? Uh, training camp's going well. Stay right here. Um, if I say how I feel, y'all probably say I'm arrogant, but uh, I feel it really good right now. Uh, <laughs> you know me, I'm not one who's going to try to talk too much about it, but I'm feeling really great. Yeah. I feel confident. You know, I'm feeling like uh, there's nothing else I can do in this training camp. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm, I'm in shape. I'm just waiting, counting the days, waiting to go in. How's your weight? We good. Uh, still floating around 47, coming in, leaving out at like 43, so I'm right there on the task. Anytime I want to hit the way that is. Has it been difficult to, to focus on Santana with the possibility of the unification with Garcia uh, looming? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, <laughs> without winning that fight, there's no Garcia fight. So, you know, who knows, even if I win this fight, it might not be a Garcia fight. So all I can do is focus on Edgar Santana uh, August 9th. Hey, tell us about these two pieces. You got the uh, training camp, you're looking, you know, and then when you get to the to the actual match, nice and cleaned up. What's, all that? What's that about? Uh, just showing my dedication to the sport, really. You know, there's no time for it's a haircut. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to no bar, no club, no nothing. It's, it's, I, 12 hours a day in the gym. When I get here at 9 o'clock, sometimes I'm going to 11 at night. You know, I'm not saying I'm working out the whole time, but this, this is where I want to be. This is where I spend my time. And um, after that, it's to the hotel and back here again. So um, just showing my dedication. I anything other than clean, you know, cleaning, brushing my teeth and cleaning my butt, man, it, 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 it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Lamont, you've had long layoffs between fights before. What, what, what do you learn from, from those layoffs that going into this fight that's going to help you? Uh, just to stay active, stay yeah. in the gym. Just because you're not fighting don't mean you don't think that's going to happen. You go out the gym, then, then that's when the layoffs hurt you. you know, where if you stay in the gym, that's fine. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but... You know, the average person is fine and train the camp, maybe, what, 100, 150 max. But I'm more of a 400, 500 type of round guy. So I'm always fine, constantly in the gym. So layoffs really should be fine. When you, when you won the fight after the stoppage, it seemed like you were saying to yourself, like, this is it, this is my time, no turning back. I'm, I'm on, that, on that track to a championship, a, a world championship for the WBC title and all that. Is that how you feel? Nah, I was basically, at the end of the fight, I was just giving God, giving thanks to God. Just, just telling him to, telling him that whatever ride he put me to roll on, I'm with him. So whether it's losing the next five fights, I'm with him. And uh, I would just give him thanks for the victory and keep it. How oh, do you feel like Anthony being on the call? Uh, it's good to see him fight. I, I'd rather not see him fight on my card because I never get a chance to see him fight. But um, I'm just happy he's in the ring and staying active because he, he's one who loves the sport. He loves to fight. And uh, I know when he's about to fight, he's happy. And once he's happy, I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm <laughs> happy. So it's a shot by the end of the year. For him. Hopefully. If they can work it out, and then, then that's, that's, what, that's what it is. And I'll be even happier for him. We both of us holding the title at the same time. That's a uh, dream come true. Back, back on the note of uh, not seeing a fight, when you, when you did get a chance to see him fight on ESPN, how was that for you? That well, was a good feeling. It was a little scary. Uh, starting off because I know he's been off and uh, things like that, but he did pretty well. He, he looks solid, and uh, he, he's looking to build on that all his night. How important is it for you to unify the belts uh, that you were talking about a little bit earlier? Can you discuss that a little bit? Uh, I feel like it's important, you know, for, for, for my legacy. You know, it's not a lot of guys you can go to at the 140 pound weight class and say that that are great fights. You know, you can say who your see like Chop is and Pryor, fights like that, but the list don't go long. And uh, I'm just trying to add my name there, and I know winning all the belts is a big step, even though the belts mean absolutely nothing <laughs> these days. But yeah. it just, you know, it, it looked good having all that. You mentioned that you had a great camp. Are there any predictions on how this performance would be? Uh, I hate giving predictions. I just, I just go for the win. Have it come. You know, I can tell you. Uh, I'm going to knock him out in the third round, but if I get in there and things don't look like uh, I'm 
I'm going to knock him out in the third round. I don't want to start pressing saying, well, I told that guy I'm going to knock him out. <laughs> you know, I just want to go up, you know, with the game plan and, and, and go with the floor of the fight. What about fighting in Brooklyn? At Barclays? Uh, first time. First time. First time. All these years of boxing, no New York fights. Uh, so sometimes they say you got to wait for things you want. I waited 10 years. Now I'm here. I'm happy. And I'm, I'm ready to go. Thanks a lot.